D.L. Ugly, who's a comedian of some note, wants us to know that uh, white people are very, very dangerous to black people because white people are always killing black people for no reason whatsoever. And he says that anybody who documents the opposite, which is that black criminality is wildly out of proportion, black on white crime, wildly out of proportion. And come to think of it, so is black on white, black on gay, black on straight, black on uh, young, black on old. Black on Asian, black on Eskimo, black on Amish, black on kitties, puppies, turtles, and goldfish. All wildly out of proportion. He says, that's all of our imagination. Well, the only way to fight that lie is with the truth. And the best way of of presenting the truth, I've discovered on this channel, is by just putting some videos out there. These are two videos. Could have been 200 How many have we had on this channel? How many do you need need to see? That's how many there are. Let's start out in, um, I think this is in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. The most dangerous place for black people to live is in white people's imagination. Um, Mm -hmm. When you look at the fact, honestly, Mm -hmm. you, you can be, you can have just shot up 17 people Mm -hmm. and the police will arrest you. Mm -hmm. They know you have a gun. Mm-hmm. But they'll shoot the kid they thought had one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They'll shoot him in the back. And here, here's the thing, it's just, we live in an America right now where we've evolved. We believe that uh, a man can be a woman trapped in a woman's body, a woman can be a man trapped, but we inherently believe that black people are criminal. Mm-hmm. We can accept that, that, that you are a man trapped in a woman's body, but we don't, for some reason, we can't buy the notion that all black people aren't inherently criminal. And that's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it, it really, it really, and then we don't, like, 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 for every time something happens, they'll say, these dualities can't exist. You can't tell us we live in a country where you're innocent until proven guilty, but then okay you being murdered because he said you were guilty, the cop said you were guilty. Before, they didn't right. try you. Before they tried yeah. Right, right. And, 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 and the truth of the matter, America's never, for, we, there have been 200 race riots in America, um, primarily because black people are, or people of color have been killed by the police mm-hmm. with nobody being brought to account. <laughs> that was before there was black on black crime. So what was it then? We've been murdered for reading, for looking somebody in the eye, for whistling at somebody. Mm-hmm. The murder of black people mm-hmm. uh, for, at the hands of people of authority mm-hmm. has always happened. Mm-hmm. And, yes. and police are uh, doing what they've always done, which is the police for us have never been about protecting us, sir. It's keeping you in your community where you belong and keeping you out of places you don't. That's, the, that's, just, that's just how it's... You know, mm-hmm. I... I uh... There are some good officers out there, a but lot. Nobody needs to say that, because we already know. We know that. But, exactly. I, but, but let me make it this distinction. The same officers that patrol uh, communities of wealth mm-hmm. aren't the same ones that control communities of color. That's They're true. not the same officers. That is true. That is true. And from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, we go to another hot, hot, uh, hotbed of black mob violence and mayhem, chaos and murder. Lima, Ohio. Off. An overnight shooting in Lima sends several to the hospital. And this isn't the first shooting around the Independence Day holiday. 
Aran Hammy has the details. A July 4th party that continued on into the early morning hours of July 5th ended abruptly as a shooting broke out, leaving one man dead. When the officers arrived about 3.45 in the morning at the UAW hall, they arrived to multiple gunshot victims. There was multiple casings located inside the hall and outside of the hall. According to Lima Police, 23-year-old Carrington Lott was one of those victims and was pronounced dead upon arrival at the hospital. Three other males and three females were transported to either St. Rita's Medical Center or Lima Memorial Health System. The six were treated for minor non-life-threatening injuries. According to police, it appeared the shooting began inside the hall and moved outside. A gun was recovered at the scene, but it is unclear if the incident involved one or multiple shooters. From what we understand, it was a rented out party at that venue. Uh, we don't have an approximate. It sounded like there were several hundred people there. This isn't the first time a shooting incident has occurred around the 4th of July. In fact, it's the third year in a row something like this has happened. In 2016, Ramil Ingram was killed at the former G-Spot bar. 25-year-old DeMonta Rogers is serving a five-year prison term in connection with his death. In 2017, Devon Godsey was murdered at the same bar, then known as the gas station bar. But all of this is just our imagination running away with us. Just our imagination running away with us. Because when white people go around imagining that black criminality is wildly out of proportion, as we see in reality every day on, vid on videos, 911 calls, victims, witnesses, trials, police reports, over and over and over. Because when we notice that, black kids like DL. Hughley and others get very angry.